Well, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your December 2023 money and career reading for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. If you're new to my channel. Hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. Ooh, thank you. I'm always grateful for every single one of you. So let's have a look and see what we've got for your month ahead. If you do, by the way, find that you enjoy your reading, if there is something here for you. Please do take a moment and press that like button and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. We've got Healer of the Ages coming in here first for you. So this is a beautiful energy. First of all, if there's been things that have been challenging, the going has been a little bit rough in the last little while, or there's been things that you're trying to improve, this is a great energetic boost for you to heal, to fix, to resolve some situations. It could be something to do with your home, right? Maybe you've got some money issues to resolve with a part or with a partner. Um, it could be things in your workplace, right? Maybe people haven't been playing nice in the sandbox, or maybe there's been a lot of ups and downs in the company that you work for. So this is an energy energy here where you can fix, you can improve, or you can find something better. There may be a better way, but the power is within you. By the power of your own hands, by the power of your actions, by the power of your deeds, right, you have the ability to initiate the change or to resolve the things that have been tripping you up. So it's a great energy there for you. Now, the healer of the ages can also represent here that some of you, you have a calling. You have a gift, you have a talent, and part of your talent is to fix things, right? Is to heal things. So maybe some of you are, can, are contemplating a career change, right? Maybe you do have some healing energy that's going through you. So you might have the um, capacity and the, the talent to help people talk about things, right? So maybe you're drawn to be like a counselor, um, a psychologist, right? That kind of thing. Some of you might be doctors, nurses, um, physiotherapists, right? Maybe you have energy healing gifts. Um, you might be wanting to uh, study Reiki practitioner, right? That kind of thing. So you might be called upon to um, and just feeling like I think I need something a little bit more fulfilling in my life. I have a vision and I think this is what I want to do. So it can be a really great opportunity for a career change for some of you there. But maybe your um, energy here as the healer of the ages is just someone who can walk in somewhere. This is a gift. This is a talent to perhaps walk into like a department and recognize um, instinctively what is wrong. Why isn't this functioning efficiently? What are the issues? What are what is going on here? So part of your gifts, your talent might be in the business world, for example, right? And your ability to say, okay, you know what? This is this is not the one most wonderful thing. This is not going. Okay, we got to fix this. Let's all band together. Let's do this. Do this. So whatever it is, there you might have a, a gift. And to recognize um, what is broken and what needs to be fixed and you have the ability to fix it. So it can actually be really quite lucrative um, as a career path if you do have those talents. Because a lot of people don't. They can't. They get too stuck on a problem and they don't see the big picture. So your opportunity and your ability there might be to see that big picture. So you could really have some expansion and growth in your career path and this can actually make you quite a bit of money that's a gift a talent a skill that you're you're born with mostly right and you hone it throughout the years but not everybody has that ability so and I feel like here that some of you do and this is wonderful we have the financial constraints card right ew yeah gross right no 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 it's in the reverse relief the financial constraints card in the reverse shows uh, a time of financial relief, financial growth, doors opening for you in a positive way, okay, things coming to fruition for you, and this is a wonderful, wonderful thing, so um, normally when we get that card, right, it's restrictive, there's, it's kind of five of pentacle energy, right, and we don't like that, right, lack, and so instead of an energy of lack, there's an energy of abundance and prosperity and wealth and growth and opportunities all coming in here for you guys, so be open, 
to some change, follow your nose, right? Follow your instincts and you might just have, you might have some surprises headed your way. You might get a bonus. You could get a raise. Maybe you pay off a loan and now you've got this sense of freedom. Um, whatever it is for you, things are certainly looking up in that energy. We've got the four of candles. So we like that card. The four of candles is the four of wands. I'll come back to it though. We've got the five of candles. So we see something, something here. You might need to work through, but I think you can figure it out. We've got the nine of good cheer. That's a really awesome card anyway, and it just gets better where that's landed. And we've got the seven of canes coming out here. Okay, so there's a bit of a backstory here. We have the nine of canes at the back of the deck, and the nine of canes is the nine of swords. So there might be something that's been worrying you um, in the last little while, or maybe something that you are still worried a little bit about in the month of December. There's an underlying energy of angst, anxiety, worry, doubt, right? Um, the nine of canes is the nine of swords, and coupled with, you know, just like the eight of swords, it's where we have a self-imposed restriction in some way. Um, it's Quite often, you know, we talk ourselves into something. It's even easier to talk ourselves out of something because we overthink, we overanalyze, and this can really build up some stress and some pressure and some anxiety within us. So there might be something that you're a little bit anxious about. And the way forward through that, right, overthinking, overanalyzing doesn't usually work because we get analysis paralysis, right? We get all up in our head. And, you know, we we just build things up um, quite often out of proportion, because if you think of things that go bump in the middle of the night, right, things always seem worse in the middle of the night, in the dark of the night than they do in the light of the day. So if something's keeping you up at night, you're tossing and turning, you're being very encouraged here to, you know, bring something out in the open look at something in the light of day, maybe write something down or speak something, speak your truth or get something, you know, take an action to resolve an issue. Um, because just thinking about it, right, we always think the worst. And that's where the nine of canes comes in, right? And if you think about an important conversation that you have with somebody, but you don't know how it's going to go, right? Is it is the answer going to be yes? Is the answer going to be no, right? Well, we build up the worst case scenario in our heads, right? And quite often when we do get something out in the open and we do take that initiative and we work towards a resolution, things aren't quite as bad as what we thought they were. And even if we get that, you know, that proverbial no, at least you have an answer, right? And now it can be a catalyst for change for you. But I think some of you have some sort of dreams or something might be waking you up in the middle of the night. So pay attention to your dreams because there is this bit of spiritual energy coming in here to help you, to guide you, to show you the way. And uh, so just pay attention to whatever it is you're dreaming about. Keep a pen and paper beside your bed. Just jot down the energies, the feelings, a vision, whatever you have when you wake up in the morning. And you might get uh, a little bit of guidance that way. But your overall energy coming in here, we've got the Four of Candles. This is awesome. Four of Candles is the Four of Wands. Number one, it's known as your 1111 card, right? So wishes and goals and dreams, you have the ability to really make something happen for yourself or set intentions and stay really positive about achieving a goal. The Four of Candles does also bring in a sense of stability and security, right? We're planting strong roots and we're feeling like we've got a really good foundation and we got our feet on the ground, so it's awesome. But some of you here could have something to celebrate. Because this does bring in an energy of celebration, of deepening commitment, perhaps, for some of you, right? It's quite often, it's, you know, halfway to marriage card, right? We quite often get this when we do get things like engagements or promotions or, you know, we have uh, investments that come to fruition. Just something that's going to really elevate our situation um, in a really positive way. So you may just have something to celebrate here in the month ahead. It's also a, it's also a very social card too because it does bring about celebrations and parties and um you know uh get togethers with our friends our family our co-workers that kind of thing so it is a very high vibe very celebratory kind of energy so whether you've got some good news coming in um where you do celebrate something um you know or maybe you are planning a whole bunch of i mean let's face it it's december and we lead into january we've got a lot of get togethers we've got a lot of celebrations a lot of things going on and so this could be an incredible incredibly social month for you. And if you're
you're feeling, if you're not feeling quite so much of a pinch in your pocketbook, this can be where you are feeling a little bit more generous um, in the month ahead. All right. But I do think that some of you may have some really good news. You might have something coming in that is a bonus. You might get that raise you've been waiting for. Um, you might get the promotion that you've been waiting for. Right. Or maybe you are finding something new here or you're just feeling like, you know what, I'm feeling good. And, um, you know, I don't mind spending a little bit of money and feeling a little bit of generous at this time of year. Maybe you've been saving up for something, but you may actually even get um, a gift or you might get a wish fulfillment um, at this time of year, or at least a door opening for an opportunity that is in alignment with what you have been hoping for and what you've been wishing for. This is a time of celebration of abundance and prosperity, of wealth, of family, of friends, and a very high vibe energy for you but not without its challenges though we do have the five of candles and this is the five of wands now this can represent this in your challenge position so it's not something that you can't overcome it's a delay it's a challenge that you've got to deal with before you can move forward it might be something new it might be something ongoing so the five of candles can bring in a little bit of conflict or competition and it can be a healthy competition or it can be a challenging competition right so if you are spending you know some time with you know your um work colleagues right or your friends your family that kind of thing there could be a little bit of drama that ensues with this and it's really just because you know if we think about um, if you have a family get together right maybe you're hosting um, something and you've got to maybe spend some money on that um, but you might have sibling rivalry that kind of thing can come up here but the five of candles very specifically with your money or your career path shows you that you know sometimes you know sometimes when we are willing to put ourselves out there and compete for what we want we can make the change that we want to see. So maybe for some of you here, in order for you to um, get what it is that you want, you may have to put yourself out there and you may have to, you know, really kind of overcome that challenge because we don't always like to compete. We don't always like to put ourselves out there. We don't um, you know, we quite often sometimes, especially if you've been going through some tough times, we feel a lack of confidence, right? So be confident in your ability to rise to the top, because I do quite often get the five of candles energy here when, you know, in order to make a career change or something, you've got to put your resume out there, but you've got to compete with a whole bunch of other people that are looking for the same thing. But I feel here in this energy with the rest of your cards that should you put yourself out there, if you have already you could very well get what it is that you've been working to achieve. You could have some um, uh, increase in your finances or maybe find yourself in a happier place than where you are right now. Be aware of the five of candles, though, because you could have some tempers that flare high um, in the month ahead. And this can certainly be in your workplace. Um, just watch out for people overindulging. Maybe people have a little bit of an argument over um you know, over who gets what days off over Christmas or New Year's, that kind of thing um, that can come about with this as well. But the five of candles is a challenging card anyway, and it is in your challenge position. So watch out for, you know, just those challenges, those obstacles. But remember, you have an ability here to change, to heal, to fix a situation. You do have the healer of the ages. So whether this is some issues with your money, um, you might have a, a battle Okay, at home, um, especially maybe about how much you are forking out if you especially if you're, you know, you got a lot of family friends, right, you're hosting turkey dinner, you know, that kind of thing, right, you might have to work through some issues with a partner. Okay, how much can we afford? How much do we want to put out there, right? So you may have to um, work through something um, with them, right? So a lot of people do have a significant other um, in their home, right? And we're not always on the same page with money. So just be a little bit aware of that where you might get a little bit of uh, tempers may run a little bit high, right? Might get a little heated. People have very, very, very passionate um, 
values uh, in, in regards to um, how we spend our money at this time of year, right? So certainly something maybe to work through there. But the good news is though we do have the nine of good cheer. This is the nine of cups and this is in your blessings position. So this is an incredibly positive card anyway. This is one of us feeling a sense of contentment. I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling good. Um, I've gotten things to where I want them to be. This is feeling like your wishes, your goals, your dreams are fulfilled. All right. And it's not because you didn't work for it because the five of candles, you're working for it. Right. Um, but this is where things really do come to fruition for you and coming to alignment for you. So this is an awesome, awesome, awesome energy. Right. So even if you are faced with adversity, you're faced with ordinary people or you've got some drama or some arguments or whatever it happens to be, whether it's at your work or your home. Right. Um, just know here that in the nine of good cheer, you have the ability to resolve or you have the ability to, um, you know, really uh, make your make your dreams come true in this energy. All right. So it's, um, you know, just be a little bit aware of overindulging at this time of year. Okay. Um, but the nine of cups, always a great, great, great energy for you. Your heart is full, you've got abundance, you've got success, you've got some wealth, you've got something to celebrate and you're feeling fine as wine. The seven of canes is your advice from spirit. Okay. And, you know, this is the seven of swords energy. So we all know kind of the, you know, the basics of the seven of swords, right? Is that, you know, just be aware of scammers, be aware of things that you can't quite trust here. Um, because sometimes we can get some misunderstandings, mis misinformation with this particular energy. This can be a little bit of stealthy energy. So maybe you think that, you know, spirits uh, saying for some of you here that, you know, really trust your instincts because you might think that there's something nefarious going on, that there's something going on behind the scenes, but this can be where, you know, there are a lot of secrets at this time of year, right? People kind of do th some things on the sly at this time of year, right? So just be aware that, you know, maybe you feel, you might feel that someone is doing something behind your back or something, but with the rest of the energy here, um, it's likely not um, as bad as what you think that it might be. But beware of in the seven of canes energy, just be a little bit aware of your own thoughts. And we see that with the nine of canes anyway, right? Your own thoughts can really get away with you or get away from you, right? Because when we get this, it's like almost a sense of regret or a sense of uncertainty, right? We gather what it, the thoughts that we need and then we kind of always looking back a little bit. Okay, so, you know, make sure that you are really clear on whatever decisions that you're making, um, especially with your money and especially anything online. Okay, just be a little bit cautious. A lot of scammers at this time of year. So just protect yourself. Um, don't always take everything at face value. But as far as your own thoughts, right, know clearly what it is that you want and go for it. Speak your truth, speak your mind, right? Truth and honesty will always set you free. And, you know, just like we have that nine of canes, right? We build something up in our head. We make something out to be worse than it might actually be. But whether something's good or bad, whatever it happens to be, when we get it out in the open, we all of a sudden have a sense of relief. All right. So just be a little bit aware of that um, with that energy. But you could possibly have something that does recur coming in here for you. So um, because this can be something kind of like sneaking back in a little bit. And so you might have if you've got an ex or something like that, you could have someone that, um, you know, kind of wants to try and wheedle their way back in or something. So this can be part of a challenge for you, um, especially if there's anything to do with money, um, because this can bring in lies and deceit and betrayal sometimes, right? So just be aware of who you're dealing with and uh, ask questions, right? Ask questions and make sure that you've got all the information that you might need, um, because again, it's a little bit of illusion, right? Not everything may be as it seems. So especially if you're dealing with like an ex or something, as they do come around at this time of year. Um, and so there might be something that you need to work through, but you can resolve some issues there though. Right. Remember, we do have the healing energy. Right. And, you know, we've got this nine of good cheer. Right. So you may have an opportunity um, to resolve some sort of issue and come to some sort of compromise. And this can really help you. Right. Especially if you've got an ongoing battle um, with money, with like an ex person or something like that it can really come in for you. But 
very much try and stay positive, okay, um, and just be aware, um, especially if you're doing any online shopping. Make sure the websites that you're going to are secure um, and just make sure that uh, you're doing your due diligence, whatever your situation is, especially if you've got some sort of investment coming in, right? Make sure you ask all the right questions, all right? We have the anchor coming in. I love that that is coming out there for you. I'll tell you about that in a second. We've got the scythe, the letter, the book, and the lilies. So you might actually have some sort of secret that comes to light. You might be getting some sort of message, some news, some delivery. Um, here it can give you some peace of mind. Um, you might even resolve some situations, right? The lilies can bring in some peace, some calm, some healing energy. It can also bring something around that you've been waiting for for quite some time and something that is finally maturing in your life. So it can be really wonderful. The anchor does come in here for you. And this does bring stability and security, but the anchor is your goal, your wish, your dream, your what you want and what you've been working towards. So for some of you here with the scythe and the anchor coming in, you could very well possibly have something that comes in quite quickly for you here, okay? And it might be some really interesting news, some information with the letter, some written word. You could have a contract, you could have a job offer, right? That kind of thing, right? We see that with Four of Candles, something to celebrate. So something that can be wonderful and something that is in alignment with your goals, your dreams, right? Whether it's something new, or something that you already know about. This can be incredibly wonderful. Um, but the scythe can bring in something very sudden and very quick. Now, the scythe here can also show that in order for you to achieve your goals and dreams, you might need to really cut something out of your life. And this can be, you know, let's let's say you want a new job, um, you know, or you want to make some more money, right? Whatever, you have to let something go before you can bring in the new. So with the scythe here, we can cut things out, right? We can um, make sudden decisions, right? Something can again happen really quite quickly for you here in this energy. Um, but it can be something that does cause some grief here as well. Okay, you have an opportunity here to perhaps um, achieve a goal, a dream, okay, but not without its little bit of grief or challenges there, um, or difficulties with the scythe, right? And especially when we do have that five of wands energy coming in there again, is that you might really need to um, you know, compete, fight for what it is that you want, maybe even um, on some level advocate for yourself, right? But maybe a little healthy competition um, <laughs> is never a bad thing, um, even though if we don't really quite feel like it, like, oh man, I don't know if I want to put myself out there. I don't, I don't deal with rejection well. Well, if you put yourself out there and you think that you're going to be rejected, then you probably will. So being encouraged here to think positive and to focus on the goal at hand. But the letter can all can represent some written information or just some news coming in for you. And um, for some of you, there is some sort of information coming to light. All right. Um, because we do have the book and the book can bring in knowledge. It can bring in a revelation. It can bring in some hidden information, maybe a family secret. Oh, boy. Um, maybe, um, you know, again, it's a little bit of secretive energy. And we do have that with the seven of swords. So there's something a little bit um, secretive going on here. And it might not be like, you know, negative. OK, um, but it could be just something is being revealed. Right. So um, uh, thank you. Um, it's, uh, it popped into my head a little bit earlier and then it left the seven of swords. If you are looking to make some changes in your career path, keep it to yourself. OK, because um, even though. Uh, especially in our workplace, we do quite often work with people who we get along with. Right. You know, that kind of thing. But when people have some juicy information, OK, it may not stay confidential. All right. And we do have that five of wands there. So just be very, very careful who you tell information to. OK, you may need to do something in the background right behind the scenes and you might not want to put yourself out there 
Okay, and just reveal to everyone what you're up to. Um, it's never a good career move if you march around your workplace going, hey, I'm applying for this job, blah, 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 right? It's probably not the best thing. Okay, so just be a little bit aware of that. Be a little bit cautious of that. Same thing if you do have um, like a financial opportunity or anything to do with your money or your career path, you may not want to reveal that to anyone outside your inner circle. OK, just that seven of swords is very much uh, can be very much a little bit of a heads up in that regard that not everyone has your best interest at heart. and Not everyone plays nice in the sandbox. So reveal this when you're ready to, because the book can be that revelation and it can be some document that comes to light. Right. Or something that is revealed to you. And so you might not want to share that until you know exactly what it is that you've got going on or until you have that maybe offer letter or in your hand right or that an all-important contract or document in your hand the letter is right in the heart of your reading so it can certainly represent some very important document um, there for you okay so just be uh, just be aware um, but I do think that there's maybe some sort of something to do with family that's coming in for some of you here it could come from an older gent um, with the lilies card can represent a mature wise experienced person someone that can you know really bring you some information perhaps that can bring you a sense of relief peace of mind so you could have like a family member that is wanting to share some financial information with you. Um, they might have some advice for you or there could be some money coming your way. Um, it is very possible. A lot of people these days do things like living inheritances. So there could be some sort of family revelation there in regards to money that comes uh, that comes out in the open. All right. But with the lilies here, we do have something that may really blossom and grow in your world. Something that is um, very long overdue perhaps for some of you all right um so yes so a couple little ups and downs but mostly ups for you guys right so grab onto that energy keep that open mind and uh see where the wind blows you all right but don't be afraid to have a very important conversation put yourself out there right um because that's how we thank you that's how we resolve things all right now let's get a few more cards for you see what else we've got Cooperation instead of competition. Hey, there's your five of wands. Hmm. What's yours is yours and no one can take it from you. There's no need to compete as there's an abundance for all. You have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself and to share with others. With cooperative partnerships, you can accomplish anything, right? And sometimes, you know, that five of wands. We work together with people or we collaborate with people and most of the time it's good, but then we all of a sudden, everyone wants to win. Everyone wants to be the shiny penny, right? And it doesn't always work that way. Um, you know, uh, sometimes we are afraid of a little competition because, well, there's only one opportunity. What if I don't get it? There's more opportunities. Rejection is the universe's protection and it opens up new doors for you because you've taken initiative and you've put yourself out there. All right. But you may resolve some sort of um, some sort of issue. OK, we have attracting, not chasing. Anything or anyone you chase will run the other way because of the fears of underlying chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude and welcoming energy. And organize for success. Do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace, and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. All right. Put a plan in place. Follow your plan, but be flexible and adaptable at the same time. I'll leave all that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated with you. If so, please do hit like on that button. It lets me know you resonate with the reading, but it lets YouTube know to please share it with more people and recommend the video. And also, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you hit the notification bell, in theory, you will get notified whenever I put up something new, which is just about every day. So I thank you for watching. Have a wonderful month and I'll see you later. Bye.